Hello, and welcome to another episode of, of Adventures in Movies Looks At dot dot dot. This week, we will be looking at I Will Make You Mine. I'm joined this week by the hosts of Adventures in Movies, Danny and Blake. Welcome, guys. So uh, I Will Make You Mine. Let's get right, let's get right at it. Uh, what did you guys think of the soundtrack? Oh. Man. Yeah. Go ahead, Danny. Go ahead. <laughs> so good. <laughs> Such a good soundtrack. Um, it hits all the indie strings. <laughs> Just right. It's really good. It's very, it fits the film very, very good, I guess. Uh, it's very somber, very, it's just, it's good. <laughs> I don't know yeah, what else it, to say it, with it's, that. It's good. Yeah. It, it is, is very, very good. Yeah, it is. You know what word it, I thought throughout the movie, and it doesn't quite fit the definition, but the music made me think it was a uh, whimsical. Like, the, it had an air of whimsy to it. Not the exact definition that's usually associated with it, but... You know who a ba- the the music made me think of a, like a really quiet um, best coast. It had like that West Coast yeah. California vibe to it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, like you're, the person singing the song is definitely not wearing shoes. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> you know what I mean? No, I thought the I thought the music was really uh, well. I mean, to, in a lot of way, it's the glue of the entire movie. Um, mm-hmm. the The whole movie is kind of set up, uh, I guess I would say, on uh yeah this uh goes 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 balladeering on the guitar and yeah i i would say it definitely uh it's definitely uh memorable even i would say absolutely and i would say and we've had in the past few years we've had um now these are big name musical acts we've had queen and we've seen one with uh um Elton John, I would put this up there with, now, not as you know, legendary performances, mm-hmm. but this soundtrack is just as catchy, just as memorable. Mm-hmm. Like Blake said, I, I thoroughly enjoyed the soundtrack very much. Um, now, yeah. the, the movie itself, I thought was uh, it was very good. It was very, very good. Um, do you think that if it had a good soundtrack, but without the same soundtrack, that it would have been just as enjoyable? Go ahead, Dan. I, I think it will. It would be. I think the soundtrack is this dream, dreamy, what Blake said, West Coast or Pat, uh, West Coast vibe thing. It already had that that feeling as we started um, because we're coming into the whole, you know, the airport or we're trying to figure out, you know, how the movie is pretty much set up for us. I think it would work. I think we would probably have something more, quote unquote, mainstream from the from from I guess like from like either like Best Coast or something along the same lines as as because the movie was a little bit dreamy, um, not like not like a hazy type of thing. It's just it's kind of like a a laid back type of feel to it. I don't know if that makes any kind of sense to to no, you saying it would have been ahead. the Garden State of the West Coast. I <laughs> know <laughs> you dare. <laughs> So you yeah, actually, no, yeah, I wouldn't. <laughs> I, I don't know. Like, I get because this is something that I guess I was trying to trying to figure out as I was re- researching on the movie. It's a trilogy. It's the last of it, uh, and the soundtracks or the other songs that we hear throughout this film are in the other two films as well. I feel that's the only connection, and it's what kind of like made me look up Go stuff or and all the other. Uh, movies as well, but I feel like it, compared to Garden State, I think I don't think Garden State. Oh no, I, I was it, completely no, joking. Like, oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's like a whole complete. I was uh, being facetious. Um, oh, I guess I <laughs> no, should. Uh, I, I guess we should say that uh, this, this is, is a twenty twenty movie. <laughs> yeah, I know. I agree. Yeah, oh, yeah, this is a better one. But uh, mild, mild, spoiler warnings, mild spoiler warnings. We won't get too much into it. Um, Danny mentioning it, it's a, part of a trilogy. It's a trilogy. It's, it's not a spoiler. But um, did you guys ever feel like you were kind of lost? Like, Danny, you said that you never felt like you were out of it. Uh, did you ever oh, no. feel that, Dan, uh, Blake? I totally did, yes. So I, the, my, my only real complaint about this movie is that I never <laughs> – I never could see where it was going. Uh and while yes, there are some definitely some plot threads that are that are that are set up, and they you know they follow through with them. It's not that they don't at all. Uh, it's just ah, 
I couldn't see where this was going to end. And I kind of felt like, in a way, it was just a, a great way for all these, like, awesome, like, <laughs> songwriting <laughs> abilities to be injected into this movie. Um, and the, the the one thing I'll say about the songwriting, they do a good job of breaking it up because uh, Go Nakamura, uh, I guess, he's, like, the predominant music figure in this. But uh, uh, is it Yaming? Or y- Yaming? I don't know how to say the name. Um, she does, I think, I loved her character. Um she just kind of felt like a, a person who was like later on in her like late twenties or early thirties who kind of still hadn't figured shit out, and I totally relate to that. Um, and uh, and she had really pretty songs, and one of the threads through the movie is kind of like this this song that she's writing. And uh, I thought the the movie did a really good job of breaking up like the the different styles in a way because like her style was completely different than Go's. Uh, yes. And so I thought that was actually a really well executed. Um, plot device, and I thought they did a really good job with uh, with that. What I, I liked, uh, I really like. I think Go Nakamura is really the glue to this movie. Yeah. Like yeah. this movie, it's um. So going back to like the trilogy part of it, I was never lost. They do a good job of what I'm assuming is um referencing previous movies, but there were other parts where it's like, okay, they're saying things that I. Th- think are a part of it but i'm not too sure so i might have lost some stuff in between but it never ruined my enjoyment of the movie but uh, i will say that this plot it's super laser focused like it it's is. about go and uh the three women in his life um it's so focused like as i've thought about it, i've enjoyed it more but one of the downsides to me of the movie is there's no supporting cast at all like it's go sure. and it's the three women and that's it uh, one of the what about major... Josh? What about <laughs> Josh, <laughs> the token white guy? Saying, uh, Josh, there, um, and that was a major part of it. Like, yeah. Yeah. he left no impression on me whatsoever. No, <laughs> now, it it didn't ruin the enjoyment to me, but it's certainly noticeable. I don't think like Josh was supposed to be that big of a focus in this whole thing, even though like he's worried and he's I, again spoiler territory here. But his past motives uh, with uh, what's uh, Lily Chen's character? I don't Rachel. remember. Rachel. Rachel. What's her name? Rachel. Rachel. Uh, uh, I don't. I don't feel like it was pretty big. I mean, it it leads to some consequences. <laughs> it's with the Rachel. biggest thing that can happen. Yeah, anymore. but I I feel like <laughs> but I feel like it didn't like it didn't really what go anywhere. And I guess. The every go anywhere. <laughs> I was it was. I knew there was going to be a double. It point. was going somewhere. And <laughs> for her, like, it's kind of this thing like you see in a lot of like romantic comedies, where the best friend is in love with, well, with her friend, and she finally realizes like I've been a fool, and she goes for it, and all these things that you expect. <laughs> this is like so hard so i'm so sorry uh don't come to fruition and i feel to me it was very well done and i feel these four characters actors did a hell of a job where i feel like if josh didn't leave an impression to me this is this is his legacy now <laughs> like it's very unimpressive and i feel like the, these four actors need did a magnificent job with all of this shit and like I don't know. Like I feel like this is there. The we don't need a supporting cast because these or supporting yeah a, ca- a supporting cast because these these guys supported each other. Well, like, and... I understand what like it's not. I agree with you. I keep, we might not need a supporting cast, mm-hmm. but they had a supporting cast. Yeah. So like they yeah, wrote yeah. these characters. So they they kind of um, that's that's my one complaint about. It. If you're gonna write characters, I'm not saying make them as super meaty as the main characters, but at least help me remember them. I mean, like, and now, Josh, I know you're kind of saying, like, it's not that big of a deal. It's a pretty big deal because what Josh does is the catalyst for what Rachel does. Now, of course, it it also ties into her past and the whole, you know, would have been, could have been, should have been thing. Mm -hmm. But if it wasn't for Josh being what doing what he did, then, um, you know, maybe she wouldn't be watching YouTube videos or whatever the case may be. Yeah. But um, but you're right. In the end, like the supporting characters, they're not important. But I think that goes back to the writing. Yep. It's strong writing. Um, it's oh, it's great. Like, those four are amazing. Amazing. Um, what was your guys' uh, – like, we, so we've talked about – you mentioned that it came to a fruition. Um, what did you guys think of the ending of the movie? 
That was my least favorite part of the movie. Uh, and I guess to kind of get back to what I was saying about, like, I didn't know where it was going. Um, I was worried. Um, while I actually I enjoyed and I kind of connected on with every character uh, in a way. And, and there's there's also a really uh, like a grieving side of the story that we haven't really mentioned um, with uh, Go's ex-wife or ex-girlfriend. Right. Uh, uh, Erica. Yeah. Erica, uh, the baby mama. Uh, she's Maybe recently, yes, she's recently lost her father, and uh, that's a big. That's actually one of the other. That's like other than Josh's thing. That's the other big underlying right. thing through this entire thing. And uh, while I thought she did a great job, I, that actress in particular, um, with looking distraught and and fi- kind of like expressing emotion, like in times of like where you kind of break down when you didn't expect it to. Like I thought she did a great yeah. job. Um, uh, yeah, there, there's just there's a lot to it. Um, I kind of forgot where I was going. To be honest with you, but like the the truth of the matter is is the uh, it, it's it's got it's got some really good performances and some really good stuff. Oh, and not knowing where I was going, um, I kind of was worried at the end that it was. I was worried about the the end happening the way it did, which was kind of like it it does a uh, and I guess spoilers. Sorry, sorry. It's it does a cut. <laughs> And it's like a year later, right? And, right. and we kind of don't get any of the in-between, which would have been great. Um, and I, everybody, it's kind of like you kind of just see where everybody's at after that. And uh, to me, it wasn't very satisfying. Uh, for a movie that like got me invested into these characters, by the end of it, I thought kind of like, wow, that wasn't, you know, I wish it was a little bit more. Um, I wish I would have cared a little bit more about where they ended it, I guess is what I'm saying. I, I think this leads back to the trilogy thing because I, I agree. Like I think leading up to that sudden cut, I thought it was really good. I was really into the characters. Uh, like I, I loved like Go Nak- what, what Go Nakamura and Rachel. I, I liked their little thing. Go and Erica was really cool. And um, Go and is it was it Ming? Was that her name? Uh, Yam Yaming. Yeah, I think yeah, they Ming, yeah. her Amy. It, it might have been the. the their their relationship was awesome, and their those songwriting parts where they're oh, like great. kind of those bouncing ideas. Of, yeah, I love those parts. I thought it was really cool. Um, when you get to the end, and then they give you like resolution wise, it's really cool. They let you know here's what happened to Go, Erica, Rachel, and, and Amy. They they spell it out for you, but I, it did fall a little flat for me. And I'm thinking it's because I've only seen this one movie. Maybe if I've seen all of them, like I would see a complete character arc, and then. A lot of that stuff would hit me even more, like because they right. reference stuff that's obviously from the past. Mm-hmm. I still enjoy the movie; it's it's awesome, but the ending did fall a little bit flat to me. And I, I'm thinking it's probably because I didn't get a full character arc in it. Uh, it's a slice of life thing. It's mm-hmm. it's an interesting movie because it's paced very, it's very patient, uh, methodical. Never ever is it boring. It, it brings no. you. It's like it's. A, no. It's a slice yeah. of life movie. It's a total slice of life movie. And the thing um, I liked about it the most, I guess, as far as the slice of life aspect, is how relatable everybody was. Like I could, I could see myself in a little bit of everybody. You know what I mean? Which is yeah. kind of, which I, actually, not kind of. It's a, that's exceptionally rare. Uh, and so the fact that they kept it to those kind of like four main characters, I, I totally kind of get because they did a good job of making those characters relatable. Absolutely. I, I, yeah, the whole relatable thing. And I think that's why I I did like the ending. Uh, even giving that like the one year later part of it, I feel like I did get a close like you know without really knowing. Yeah, we got to the last chapter of the story. I just didn't like it. I, feel... like it. I just didn't like the. End. I didn't want. I didn't want what happened. To happen. <laughs> I feel like it was really it, it it ended really good. I feel that maybe we didn't really need that one year later, but overall, I. I like how it a good point. progressed. Like we progressed to this point now. Like we're not going to get another movie. You know, this is the closing chapter. This is right. this is good. Like I feel like it is complete. I got satisfaction. I I feel like I get I did get to know the characters very well through their conversations. So mm-hmm. even if like we don't get to see the other two movies, these two characters, all four characters, have an arc in this chapter essentially a, a growth of that we don't really get to see in many movies yeah, that's the only disappointing thing to me is like yes there's growth they they show that we get mm-hmm. none of how that happened and mm-hmm. that's i mean it's kind of it's kind of cool in its own right but uh, i you know i just spent an hour getting to know these people you know yeah so yeah yeah like one of the things we were obviously missing is um 
Go is an adult now. I mean, he's been married and he has a child, whereas I'm pretty sure in previous movies, he was a struggling songwriter, probably going, well, he, obviously, because they mentioned relationships with, or mm -hmm. Rachel's attempts and going to the prom and stuff like that. So there's a pretty big part of character. And again, the movie, it's kind of funny, I'm saying these bad things about the movie, but it's not that they're bad. It's just that I haven't had a chance to see the previous stuff. I thoroughly enjoyed the movie. And I, the more I think about it, the more I enjoyed it. Um, so Danny, final thoughts on I Will Make You Mine. I really enjoyed the, uh, the film. I don't think it was that flawed. I The soundtrack was really good. I It did make me want to see the other two movies. Uh, and I've been recommending it to people. Uh, go rent, buy it right now if you can. I would Blake, agree. Yeah it, yeah, it was fun. It was a fun little movie. It was a nice little departure. Uh, when we signed up to do this, uh, the screener that you had for us, I had nothing, no idea what to expect. Yeah. And uh, as the movie progressed, uh, it's very nice when a movie like that especially uh, surprises you and is, is super like delightful. It was kind of a delightful <laughs> little movie. And uh, yeah, I would recommend it, especially if you're into uh, kind of the... The dramedy, comedy, romantic comedy kind of situation. There's definitely some funny moments. I would recommend it. I'm on board completely with you guys. Like, uh, yeah, it's it's silly, but it has some serious moments. And I don't know if we'll hear a better soundtrack this year. <laughs> it's an amazing, amazing soundtrack. So, Adventures in Movies says, check it out. Uh, you can hear us every week. You can see us here on YouTube every single week. Um, we've done horror. We've done romantic comedies. We do documentaries. Uh, we have a review anything policy. Um, you can also check, find us on Spotify and YouTube and the website. Um, Adventures in Movies, our actual podcast, where we take things a little more seriously, but sometimes. still you'll get some <laughs> sometimes, but you'll get a lot of good information. Thanks a lot. We'll see you on the flip side. Adios. Like and subscribe. <laughs>